guys and girls. Yeah. Today we're going to be talking about it's a another one, another species that's quite an interesting interesting fish. It's something that a lot of guys would have come into contact with and probably not known what it was. Now they call them the half beak. Um, the scientific name is Hemiramphus far. Now Hemiramphus means long beak and far means long as well, sort of derivative, but um, it's a coastal. Now the half beak gets its name and gets its scientific name from the, its overall body structure. They've got this bottom jaw of theirs, very, very extended. Um, actually comes out almost to, a, say, a spike. And very importantly, they've got a little red nodule at the end. And once we get, and then the top top jaw, so it's almost sits like this. And the top jaw is just a little, little jaw like this. So it's very much reduced, and the bottom one's very much extended. So almost like skimmers uh, birds, if you've ever seen those. Um, now that's designed for purely for feeding on the surface. So now you can sit along like that, and it just opens its top jaw, and anything that's on the surface can get sucked in, or anything just under. They are very, very chunky fish. They're nice and uh, solid, solid, solid fish. Very firm meat on them, um, and quite hard scales. They are more of a tropical species you get them from sort of about pe pe is sort of the really really lowest lowest point and then from the up into tropical regions across into asia and all sorts they are anywhere in sort of the east indian ocean and we're in the west side so anywhere really around you get them all over the place they have a silver body they're quite, quite extended, quite, quite long, but they're actually quite chunky if you t cut them in, if you were to cut them uh, in half like that, uh, cross section, you get them. They're quite a, quite a chunky fish. Um, they make incredible baits for your bigger fish. So if you're going to be trawling baits, if you're going to be skipping baits for marlin, for sailfish, anything like that, they make incredible baits. They're nice and hard, they've got a lot of smell to them, and uh, they've got a lot of shine as well. So if you're going to rig them as a skip bait or things like that, they're Deadly. There are thousands and thousands of them are rigged up uh, just probably monthly across the world. Um, but yeah, in Florida and places like that, they, there's a huge demand for them as bait. In terms of maturity and things like that, they mature fairly small, about 25 centimeters. And um, you, know, you can get them pretty much anywhere from that PE stretch up, but really more KZN north is really where you want to be. Um, calm bays. So areas of uh, where you get a, like a rocky pinnacle that goes out or point that goes out and you get the bay that sits behind it that's really a very nice spot to to fish for them because it's nice and calm they aggregate there there's a lot of surface uh, stuff that gets washed off the rocks and gets blown in there and then they can eat that um, and when you fish for them the best is ultralight tackle uh, hawk and then just two small hooks like have little bits of bait. Just so you, you don't want them with a lead shot because then they're going to sink down too far. You want them just sort of floating around like that. Uh, if you're struggling with casting your uh, just the cork by itself, you can use a piece of broom handle, painted white. It works very well for mullets as well. Or if you're going to, if you want to use something else, you can use um, a bit of lead sheeting. It's a bit difficult to get across now, but on those you just put a piece of lead sheeting on your cork and then just tie it on with a bit of uh, uh, wire, just do a haywire twist either side just to get it to sit on. And that will sit, the, it also sits, sits it right up or right side down like that, so it's nice and flush with the water. But yeah, generally speaking, just uh, use use a plain cork if you because you don't need to throw far, or if you want to do a bit of more distance, a broom handle being made of wood it gives you a little bit of weight to cast. So yeah, the half beak, very very good bait. Um, if you are going to use them for baits, get them into an ice slurry nice and quickly. It just cools them down, almost almost freezes them. And you want to add a little bit. Of, you want to put salt water in because it's a endothermic reaction. Takes in every heat, makes it ice 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 cold, and just gets them gets them it's sort of semi frozen very quickly. So yeah, Hemiramphus far, the half peak. Cheers.